If you're living paycheck to paycheck, here's how to pay off your credit card without raising your income or cutting expenses. This client has an income of $4,000 per month and her expenses are also $4,000 a month. She has maxed out her credit card at $4,000 and she has an interest rate of 29.99% with a minimum payment of $160. Here's how she pays it off while living paycheck to paycheck. First thing is she's gonna separate out her expenses into ones that have to be paid with the checking account. So this is most likely gonna be her rent, her utilities, anything that cannot be paid with her credit card. Everything else is going to be paid with the credit card only. Here's why. When she gets paid, her paychecks minus whatever she's going to be paying out through the checking account is gonna go straight to the credit card to pay down the balance. So if her checking account expenses are $1,600, she would transfer $2,400 from her paychecks into her credit card the day she gets it. This leaves enough for her fixed expenses in her checking account, but it also satisfies the minimum payment requirement and pays down the balance so that the interest paid each month is also going to be less. If your utilities fluctuate too much for you to feel comfortable doing this, talk to your utility company about budget billing. This way it is a fixed amount each month and they cut you a check for any overpayment at the end of the year. When she transfers that $2,400 into her credit card balance, this brings the balance down to $1,600. Now it's not going to stay there because she's going to be using that credit card all month, but we no longer have the minimum payment on the credit card. We only have to pay the interest for the month, which is gonna be $95.79 instead of paying the minimum payment, which was $160. Side note here, it will actually be a little bit less than $95, but I can't know the average daily balance in this hypothetical example, so we're gonna be conservative and shoot high. At the end of the month, we have an extra $64.21 that's being put toward the credit card balance the day that she gets paid. So basically that's like an automatic amount that's going toward the balance. So our new balance going into month two is $3,871.58. She's gonna be doing the same exact thing that she did in month one. So the day that she gets paid, she is transferring all of that paycheck except for what she needs to pay her rent and utilities that stays in the checking account. The rest of it gets transferred transferred to her credit card and pays down the balance. And remember that satisfies the minimum payment, so we just have to pay the interest, which is also slowly going down. Did you know that only 23% of the people watching this video right now are subscribed to my channel? It means so much to me whenever you subscribe to my channel and like the videos. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe and supporting me as I create content. In month two, she keeps $1,600 in her checking account for utilities and rent, and she moves the $2,400 over to her credit card. Her new balance is $1,471.58. And it's always encouraging when you see the balance so low after being stuck on this paycheck to paycheck cycle, but remember that balance is going to slowly creep up throughout the month. Anytime that she buys groceries, she's swiping the card. Anytime she buys gas, she's swiping the card. We don't have the minimum payment again, but we do have the interest and that is going to be $92.59. Without the minimum payment, she has an extra $67.41 that she was able to put toward the card when she dumped her income into it. And now the new balance at the end of month two is $3,736.76. Nearly $300 of of this debt gone just by simply dumping her money into the credit card balance the day that she gets paid, satisfying that minimum payment, and then just paying the interest. This drastically helps her credit score as well. She had a maxed out credit card at $4,000. We've paid that down and lenders really like when your debt utilization is not maxed out. So she's going to see an increase in her credit score as well. Let's do month three so that you can really see what's possible in such a short amount of time. So she transfers that $2,400 into her credit card balance again, and this brings the balance down to $1,336.76. The interest that she's gonna be paying this month is $89.22. So she has an extra $70.78 that she can put toward the debt, bringing the balance down to $3,605.98 at the end of month 
three. This strategy works paycheck to paycheck. You don't have any extra income. You can't cut any expenses. And here's the best part for you. You can call your credit card company and ask for a reduction in your interest rate. Just ask. The worst they can say is no, and this method still works to pay off the debt. Point out on the phone if you've been a customer for a long time, if you've got consistent on-time payments, or if you've come in to hardships. And I've got two videos, and I'll link those right here, that you can watch that go into more credit card secrets and information on collections. You could even ask if they can just temporarily reduce the interest rate. And it's amazing. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten clients message me so excited because the credit card company said yes. Comment below if you've got questions when it comes to Velocity Banking and paying off credit card debt.